this is Mike. Well today I'm going to show you how to use pump protectors on your pressure washers. And we'll go through that process. I'll demonstrate how to do it. And we're going to use a couple of different products. Now this is a squeeze bottle type. And this is an aerosol type. Now one of these was a real pain to use. And the other one was a real pleasure. So stay with me and I'll show you why. There's nothing handier than a pressure washer for cleaning walls, exterior walls, fences, and even washing your car. But the pressure washer's pump can wear out prematurely, so you should be using pump protector every time you use your unit. We'll start with the squeeze tight bottle. So first you have to remove the top, peel off the seal, then reassemble it, and take off the little black cap. The inner seal stays in place and as you can see it does not block the fluid flow. Next we're going to turn the power switch to the off position. So briefly here's the procedure. You firmly attach the bottle to the inlet or water hose side and get it tight or it'll leak. And then squeeze once. Crank the engine several times and squeeze the bottle again. Now the fluid should come out of the outlet port at some time. <laughs> but nothing happened. No matter how many times I squeezed the bottle and cranked the engine, nothing ever came out of the pump outlet. I tried it on an old pressure washer and followed the same recommended procedure and again no matter how many times I squeezed and cranked, there was no discharge from the outlet port. If you're having the same problems I am using this product or possibly if you know how to make it work, be sure to comment and let me know. So I gave up and I moved on to the aerosol product. And again, you want to attach the can's hose to your inlet or water hose connection. And now lift the cap and press the button. And almost immediately, pressurized fluid came forcibly out of the outlet. I'm using a plastic tub to catch the liquid because, man, it'll shoot out four or five feet. After using the squeeze bottle, this almost seems too easy. Now, I also tried it on the old washer, and one thing I really appreciated was the hex connection on the end of the cans too. Made it really easy to loosen and tighten uh, with pliers or a wrench. Now we can lift the cap and push the button, and man, you can see immediate results again. Just be sure to stay clear of that outlet port or you'll get a shower. So now I bet you've already figured out which product was the pain and which product was the pleasure. <laughs> and honestly, I've been using the aerosol product for all this time. I've had good luck with it. It's always worked for me. It works with my equipment. It's quick and easy to use. I see no reason to change. But having said that, I don't quite understand why the squeeze product did not work. Uh, there's many videos out there to show you how to use it. Uh, there's many brands of this product. There must be a lot of people that use this with success. So maybe there's something fundamentally wrong with my technique, or maybe it only works with certain pump types. I don't know. But having said that, I've done a little research, and there are other reviewers, and there's consumers out there that are all having the same problems I'm having with this product. But if the product works for you and you're using it now, I mean, don't change because one great thing about the squeeze product is that it's much more economical than the aerosol. Uh, I mean, for about the same price, you get three times as much product. So it's going to save you some money in the long run. For your shopping convenience, I've added a link for both the aerosol and the squeeze bottle to the video description. These are paid links, which means we get a small little commission if you purchase on them, although it doesn't affect the selling price. Be sure to go below now and like our video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell. And until next time, thanks for watching.